Okay. So, furthermore, once again, the pale horse, what we talked about with the lady, riders of the pale horse, and then we're discovering quite well who they are, what their plans are, what their biblical connections are, that they relate all the way back to these fallen sons of God from Genesis 6 who have procreated with mankind. They've created another race upon this earth that has been existing within, you know, in the hollow earth, in portions of our world underneath the soil, underneath the mountains, underneath the ocean that have been carved out. And uh, they have been existing under there for long periods of time with this technology as they have you know, cultured it and developed it through each of these epochs and these and these ages that have passed. They've been growing this technology, and they've been denying its benefit from us. And then they keep all of the benefits underground, and of course, use that technology to deceive and control us. So here's another connection. Here, we just saw that. Now I gave you some confirmation or some information that you could look up to confirm what I'm telling you about, that these Pleiadians, Arturians, Orions, these aliens that are claiming these constellational star names are not who they say they are, that they're directly linked to a spiritual uprising on this planet, and we can find their root and origin right here within the Bible in black and white. So here's going to be our connection that now Dan is associated with the arrival of the locust. And then we're going to see Dan being termed in connection with these horses and these strong ones. Now this is going to be out of Jeremiah chapter 8. It really reads from verses 13 through 19 quite well. We're going to focus on verses 15 through. We looked for peace, but no good came. And for a time of health, and behold, trouble. The snorting of the horses was heard from Dan. Now, there's the riders of the pale horse in association with the Sumerian gods connected to the Pleiades and Orion, in association with the Leviathan connected to the destruction of Christianity and the exaltation of false Israel. I mean, this thing is biblical as it gets. The snorting of the horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones. Remember the golden age and the strong ones. For they are come and they have devoured the land. Now there's the connection to the locusts. Now the Danites are being connected as devouring the land, just like the locusts in Revelation, the fifth trumpet. And all that is in it, the city, now that's Zion, and those that dwell therein, take refuge within Zion and that is going to be what they hope to bring down is your spiritual kingdom that you're existing in right now they're, help, they're hoping to bring upon a strong delusion which will either cause you to give up your faith or your life whichever comes first for behold I will send serpents and cockatrices among you which will not be charmed and they shall bite you saith the Lord now remember in Revelation that the locusts are timed up as having tails like serpents Okay, and with them they do hurt. For behold, I will send serpents and cockatrices. Now the Danites are connected to the horses. Now the Danites are connected to the strong ones. Now watch the Danites are being connected to the serpents and the cockatrices. Well, further confirmation that we're exactly talking about Dan, we need to go back to Genesis chapter 49. Dan shall be a serpent by the way and an adder in the path. Now the connection to the horse that biteth the horse heels. Now, I know for some of you who haven't been following what I've been doing, that, yeah, it might be hard to follow this, and I feel for you. It's even going to be harder to follow this in the days ahead. 